You know, Sonny, Carly, and I have been friends a lot longer than Carly and I were engaged to be married. Decades longer. So you just hit a reset button? Ignore the fact that you and Carly were planning a life together? I mean, we made those plans because we thought Sonny was dead. And uh, he's not, so our lives go back to where they were before. And you're okay with that? I mean, I know you're happy Sonny's alive, and of course you wouldn't change how things turned out, but Carly gets her husband back. Meanwhile, you lose everything you were counting on. Well, maybe I deserve to. Because of what you did to me? I might possibly feel a teeny, tiny bit vindicated because... You chose Carly over me, and she turned around and chose Sunny over you. But that doesn't mean I enjoy seeing you hurt. I appreciate that. Well, I don't mean to pile on more bad news, but you should know. You should know what? That Peter is definitely alive. Has Peter tried to contact you? No. Maxie found out. And she very thoughtfully sent Dr. Gatlin Holt to the hospital last night to give me a heads up. <sighs> Scott had this idea that Peter was involved in my mother's disappearance. Wait, wait a minute. Your, your mom disappeared? Yeah. I, I guess nobody's told you. Scott chartered a private jet to take my mother and him to St. Lucia. And they hit turbulence, and they both blacked out. <laughs> Someone put a parachute on Scott and dropped him over a campground. And there's been no sight of my mother, and there's no way to track the jet because it was a fake company. So the whole thing was a setup. I'm sorry. Did you want me to have Brick or Spinelli look into it? No. No, thanks. Uh, you've got plenty going on in your new life. Besides, I don't need you to rescue my mother. Or me. Oh. Maxie! Are you okay? Did Peter make contact? I am fine. I haven't heard from Peter, not directly anyway. What does that mean? Uh, I know what happened to your mom. 